For today's video, I'm going to be attempting a reverse Nuzlocke with Griff. That means I am locked to only playing Griff, and my goal is to push him from 500 trophies to 600 trophies, which I'll admit isn't actually that hard to do. However, this challenge has special rules. I'm only allowed to play with randoms, I'm not allowed to hit play again if I find good randoms, and if I lose a single match in a game mode, I can no longer play that game mode. In order to beat the challenge without losing all of the game modes, I need to have a win rate greater than 70%. And when playing with randoms, I usually have a win rate around 65%, so I think this will be a good indicator of how strong Griff is. I'm going to start this challenge in Bounty, which will be interesting because it's on Snake Prairie, which is full of bushes. Now, if you're going to play Griff in Bounty, I feel like Snake Prairie is kind of the map to play him on. In the game files, Griff is actually named the Assault Shotgunner. So in a way, he's kind of like how Shelly always should have been. He's able to deal decent damage from a distance, plus he has his super, which can just blast out a ton of damage really quickly. Another thing that's beneficial is that when the enemies bunch up, his super can fully recharge itself really easily, which allows him to put out a ton of damage and get kills quickly. However, in order for Griff to do really well on Snake Curry, he absolutely has to have like a Terra or a bow on his team with him so we can actually see his opponents and know where to fire. And unfortunately, Mr. P's porters aren't that amazing for Snake Curry. Okay, okay, okay. Fall back, fall back, fall back. If it's a draw, I get to continue playing. Oh my word! No! Oh, it's so sad! Ah! And that means that I can no longer play Bounty, and I'm only up 9 trophies. I feel like Griff has a lot of potential in Siege. He can deal a ton of damage, and he can cover a massive area. And what I love about his super is the fact that it can deal so much damage against multiple enemies, and he can use it to control where all of the bolts spawn. And on this map in particular, it's really nice for him to be able to drop a gadget to open up the enemy walls, which is going to make it easier for you to actually take out the enemy Ike terrain. Okay, and drop that there if we need to. Oh, we won't even need to. Oh, that was just domination. That was great. Okay, they've got a solid team comp, and I really don't like their penny. Thank you. Let's grab this. We'll just put that right there. Blow that up for future use. Cool. Very good. Oh my word, he can do so much damage. Finish it off. Yes! Okay. Okay. Up to 525 trophies. We're a quarter of the way there. Except for every loss, we lose a bunch of trophies. Ah, <laughs> facing off against a Stu. I hate Stu. Well, I hate facing him, Stu. I, I hate facing Stu. Okay. 100% still. So we're doing good. But... Let's blow him away. Okay, barely. So we have to we have to get this next push. Are you kidding me? Seriously, who plays Dynamite on this map? <laughs> it's so open. I bet you that Stu gets star player. Actually, it could have been Ems. Ems might have been star player. Yeah. Ah. Now at this point, we're at a 66% win rate, which is Okay, but it's not reaching that 70% that we need to actually beat this challenge. We're 519 trophies, so let's see how strong he feels in gem grab. I don't know why he's thumbs downing me. When I was pushing Griff up to 500 trophies so I could start this challenge, I actually didn't play very much gem grab at all. Most of my pushing happened in hot zone, where I found a couple of really solid teammates and we just pushed all the way up to 500 trophies. And starting Griff in gem grab felt a little awkward, and I had quite a few close encounters. But once I started getting into the swing of things, Griff started feeling really good in gem grab, and I went on a bit of a winning streak. Very good. Boom. Blast him. There we go. Oh my word, are you kidding me? Pull him. Oh yes! Yes, Frank! Thank you! Oh! Okay, killing that Carl there. Uh, and there's no way that Piper is going to be able to do anything against this Frank. Oh, man. Thank you, Frank. That had me really nervous. <laughs> oh, man. Sweet. Breaking our streak. Yes. And we officially broke our streak of three wins, one loss. And we're at a 78% win rate, baby. <sighs> I don't know why everybody's angry about me playing Griff. Come on. What are you doing there, Anita? Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I didn't I did not see that turret being thrown down Drop the piggy bank. Oh, she is taunting them. She is taunting them hard and now we're halfway there. Stay alive Pam 
Fall down here. Fall down. Fall back. Fall back. Okay. Oh, man. I get so nervous. Oh, man. It's like the kills don't matter. Just get the win. Just get the win. Oh, double kill. I love that. Oh, nice, Brock. Very nice. Oh, we, we made that terror rage quit. Oh, she, she is a bot now. Was that a... That was a triple kill between me and Frog. We just got a triple kill. Oh, that is so great. Oh, man, that was great. That was really great. I would love to play with those two players again. Fortunately, I am not allowed to hit play again with them. <laughs> oh, 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 man. We are three quarters of the way. Gem grab is dominating. And we, my friends, are at an 85% win rate, which... I, I could still lose this challenge. I absolutely could. Without fun. Oh my gosh. 26 HP. Oh, what's up with all these cults? They're just lasering people left and right. Um, Once again, the angry emote right at the start. I don't know if it's because I'm playing Griff or not. I will say, their stew has just bum-rushed every single time and just died over and over and over again. He is the reason why they lost this match. He really could have just, if he was a better stew, they would have just dominated us. Stu is so good right now. And with that win, we have climbed up to 591 trophies. And if you remember, at the start of this video, I started out with 499 trophies, one less than 500. In order for me to reach the one less than 600, this has to be a win. Here we go, facing a Sprout, a Rico, and I might like our team comp a little bit more. No, no. Stay alive, Poco. Poco, why are you going clear over to the enemy side? Oh my word! What? Why would he do that? Oh no! Are you kidding me? He just had to grab the gems and fall back. He, he just kept pushing. Oh no! That is so sad. That is so sad. So we're back to 585 trophies. We need two wins. We could go the easy route with solo showdown and just hide in a bush, wait until we're fourth or better, and then come out of the bush, and that would be easy. I almost feel like that's cheating, so I'd rather save showdown for a last reserve option. I feel like Griff's a little bit better for knockout than heist, so we're gonna try knockout. What was that jump? Oh my word, come on. Oh, so close. Jump on the dynamite first. Thank you. Stay alive. Stay alive. Charge. Don't. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. Thumbs up. What are you thumbs upping for? Come on, dude. What is that super? I'm clearly about to kill him. Boom. Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh, no! No! Oh, oh I should have just stayed close to him. Stayed close to him and healed. Just waited a little bit. Oh, no, that is so sad. Oh. Now, I could do Brawl Ball or I could do Heist. I could even wait for Hot Zone. My gut feeling is telling me to go with Heist. He's kind of like Shelly, amazing on defense. But he actually has the damage potential to be able to do well from a range as well. Oh, yes. Here we go. Push, push, push. There we go. Oh, man. This is feeling really good. I'm going to open this up. We didn't even need to. Okay. Sweet. What is doing damage to our safe? Come on. We have to deal some damage. There is a Jesse on our safe. Two more attacks. Oh! 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 Oh!
Oh, oh man. It comes down to this. We've lost Bounty, we've lost Siege, Gem Grab, Knockout, and we have to get one more win in Heist. If that happens, we beat the challenge. And if not, we still have a few game modes, but I would really not like to risk it. Especially after that last scare of a match. Here we go! Okay, they've got a Leon, which is not that great. Why does everybody hate the fact that I'm playing Griff? I do not understand it. Griff is like really pretty great. Ah. Do people really not think that Griff is good? Like, I don't understand. Oh, he broke that wall, which is going to make it. You know, I'm just going to kill him. Okay, he has his super up, so we got to be careful. Ah, dang it. Come on, Dynamite, attack it. Oh, oh, I didn't even know that was happening. That it, that's it. That was the most boring match ever. <laughs> but we did it, okay, boom. We beat the challenge with Griff. We have plenty of game modes left to spare. Beat the challenge with an 80% win rate. Now I'll be completely honest, when I first started playing Griff, I actually didn't think he was that great. After I pushed him up to 500 trophies, I realized, you know what? He has a lot of potential, but he definitely has a higher learning curve than a lot of the brawlers do. Now I know that these Nuzlocke challenges have a lot to do with rich randoms I get and how good they actually are, but we still have Brawl Ball, both solo and duo showdown, as well as hot zone left to play. And we have completed this challenge with an 80% win rate. That's actually the best win rate that I've had in the three reverse Nuzlocke challenges that I've tried. Yet for some reason, people keep giving me the frowny face whenever I enter a match with Griff, and I don't understand why. So if you understand why, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys click right there if you haven't already subscribed for more awesome quality Brawl Stars content. And we also have some other videos right here that you can watch as well since this one is over. For now, this is Kairos Dime ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.